Good evening. Today we celebrate the Nativity of the Lord. We welcome all. Merry Christmas. Let us celebrate with the Advent themes of hope, peace, love, and joy. May they fill your life in every way this Christmas and beyond. Emmanuel, God is with us. There will be a special collection at all the Epiphany Masses January 7th and 8th the Catholic Medical Foundation to help relieve the great human suffering of hunger and poverty in Lebanon. A special remembrance is made in this Mass for John Cochran. Please stand. Our entrance here is number 300, O Come Be Faithful, number 300, verses 1, 2, and 3. To send a Savior to the people of Israel, who would be Emmanuel, that is, God with us. In the fullness of time, those promises were fulfilled with hearts full of joy. Let us now listen to the proclamation of the Savior's birth.
song response is, Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have a child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let me begin with a question. Where are you going to spend Christmas this year? Hopefully your answer is at home with my family, my friends. They're special to me. They give me a reason to live. They are my reason to love. It is so sad these days when we find that families are torn apart. For many reasons, some good, some not so good, some bad. And we find many times our culture is going in the wrong direction. Mothers and fathers aren't supposed to be mothers and fathers anymore. And children aren't being taught to love and respect them as days gone by. And so we hope that hopefully you will be with family and friends during this holiday. And we know there are many good reasons why, because of distance, the weather, health reasons, so it's to be expected. It's not always possible to be joined together as we wish. I want to share with you a story I learned 70 years ago. I was a student at St. Charles Seminary in Oakbrook, Philadelphia. And a priest shared something that actually happened to him one Christmas Eve. After having heard confessions that the Church of Our Lady of Lourdes, which is in Overbrook, a suburb of Philadelphia, he went to do some last minute Christmas shopping. And so he went into a forest shop 
I thought he might pick up some last minute gifts. And there before his eyes was a little boy, Tommy. Tommy was 10 years old. And Father knew him because Tommy was an altar boy. And he greeted Tommy very casually. Tommy, it's good to see you. Merry Christmas. And the boy greeted the priest as well. And so he saw, he thought it stood by and watched what Tommy was about to do. And so Tommy was looking around the shop. Christmas Eve, there wasn't too much left. And 70 years ago, there wasn't always an abundance of flowers as there are now. In fact, plastic poinsettias were common way back then. And Tommy happened to see this poinsettia in, in the corner and he thought maybe, maybe he could afford to buy that. And so there he was with running nose and holes in his mittens and he picked up the plant and he went to the counter and said to the clerk, how much is this? Clerk answered, well, how much do you have? So Tommy reached in his pocket and he pulled out a little bag with coins in it. He put them on the counter and it added up to about $2.75. And the clerk said to Tommy, well, lucky you, he said, that's exactly how much this plant cost. Well, needless to say, Tommy was thrilled. Oh, gosh. And the clerk wrapped it with beautiful foil and the big bow on it. And Tommy walked out into the street. And the priest was very curious just to see what he, where he was going. He knew that the boy came from a rather poor family. So at any rate, through the crowded sidewalk, Father followed Tommy down the street to what was our Mother of Sorrows Cemetery. It was the beginning of the snow now. The wind was a blustery. Tommy held the plant ever so close to himself. And he walked out down to the main gate of the cemetery, down the road, and then he turned left down the footpaths. And then the priest stayed at a safe distance. Tommy wouldn't know he was being followed. Finally, Tommy stopped. He stopped at this grave marked by a small wooden cross. And he placed this plant down in front of the cross. Then he knelt down, blessed himself. The priest could see that there were tears streaming down his cheeks. Then he stood up, he raised his hand, and he said, the priest could hear him say, Merry Christmas, Mom. Enough said. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I will be the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
found substantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, come down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who was in part of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and took much his father. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day is born a Savior. Let us offer our prayers and joy, trusting in God's goodness. Mother Church, may God preserve us from evil and draw us ever closer to His Son, the Incarnate Word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all us in all in authority, may God turn their hands from violence and set their hearts toward bringing peace to the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all expected parents, may God bring safe delivery to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in our faith community, may the newborn King lead us in love, restoring relationships that are broken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many gifts in our lives, may we accept them with gratitude and give generously to others in need this Christmas season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, may God grant them abundant joy as they see His face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, whose entry into the world we celebrate today. Fill our hearts with the peace that only He provides. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
make thee acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offering of this day's feast be pleasing to you, Lord, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis Sarkoon, Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and
Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. I just want to say two things. First of all, uh, we know that Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And what I want to leave with all of you, if you already haven't picked up a copy of this, either in the basket by the uh, nativity set in the vestibule or by either door, there's copies of Matthew Kelly's latest book. It's called Holy Moments. And our life is filled with holy moments. And a holy moment doesn't occur just because all of a sudden Jesus comes and he comes and like, wow, he just makes his appearance. The truth of the matter is Jesus is always here. It is our recognition of Christ in our midst that makes holy moments. And Matthew Kelly does a beautiful job of being able to do this. He does it simply, it's an easy read, and it really does make a huge difference in your life if you recognize the simplicity, but the importance of the fact of what we're celebrating today, that God is truly with us. And so secondly, I'd like to use this opportunity of Christmas to extend some thanks. Thanks to all those who help us to experience those holy moments in our lives by allowing us to recognize the presence of Christ because of their words and actions. And first, I'd like to, to, to recognize our clergy here, Father Potts and Deacon Mike, our remarkable music ministry, to all of those who decorate the church so beautifully, to all of our liturgical ministers, all of our catechists, all of our teachers, to everyone here in the parish who makes Christ more apparent, from our friendly visitors, to our crossing guards, to our cleaning crews, to our maintenance workers, to our greeters, to our staff, to our volunteers, all those that say thank you to you for helping us to see Christ in our midst. And my wish, and I know I can speak for Father Potts and Deacon Mike as well too, my wish is that for everyone here to have a blessed Christmas and a year filled with many holy moments. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with Him who lives and reigns forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the Lord. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou grants of the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our recession number 303, Joy to the World, number 303.